Hello. First thing that you want to do is you want to get your model. You want to basically set up a camera so that it's pointing directly at the model so that you can sort of see it in the frame. You want to put a light behind the model opposite the camera so that you can see the shape of the model once you've animated it. You want to animate the first frame and the last frame of the animation so that you can see the camera panning away from the model, which is cinematic. And then you want to move on to creating the shader. You want to add a texture coordinate node, a mapping node, and a gradient texture. And set the texture to spherical and add in an empty into your scene. You're going to use that empty as the object coordinate so that you can move it around and you get the gradient like that. You're going to use that as your creator, as the mask for the, the two different textures between transparent and the blood texture that you come up with. Okay, you want to get those first two nodes, then you want to move and you want to add a noise texture. That noise texture is going to be the thing that's creating the sort of randomness so that the blood effect drips down. Um, yeah, you want to change the scales, something that sort of looks right. Uh, and then you want to add in a brightness and contrast node. You want to just sort of sharpen up the white and black values of that so that you can... It's more visible, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah, add in a subtract node and you want to take the first one away from the second one. And then you get sort of cool random gradient thing. Oh, it's on the screen. Second part of the shader. You get the exit part of the shader. You want to get a principal BSDF. Yeah, and then you want to add in a color ramp set to three different colors of red because I'm copying Daredevil and they use red because it's like a blood type thing. I don't know what it is. But yeah, just pick three different colors of red. Um, connect that up to the base color, and then, yeah. So you've got the rim light at the back of that, and you want to also add in two different area lights that attract to the model you're using at the front. So it's visible, but you still get the sort of shine on the outline of the model. Okay, back to the shader, you want to sort of decrease the roughness and specular map parts of that. Add in a glossy texture, and connect that to the colors you had earlier. Mix those two together, sort of make it so the glossy texture is very, very minimal. Just adds a little bit of shine to it. I'm gonna go a hue saturation node, add that in, sort of make it exact, exactly the colors that you want. Um, add in a cylinder to the actual mesh of the dragon to make it like the liquid coming down. So you're gonna bring back the first part of the shader that you created, you're gonna get the mix shader and you want to add in a transparent and mix that with the blood bit that you just made and then use the factor as the first part of the shader and that's controlled by the empty. So now we have pretty much a finished thing we just need to tweak some things we need to move the camera around so it's exactly where we want it. Uh, we're going to change the background color of the world to dark red add in a volume cube that's sort of just around everything in the scene you want to change that to a sort of light red color uh, and a very low density, about 0.2, 0.3-ish. But yeah, just light red, that works. Adds a lot of depth to the scene, yeah. Right, so we've added in an icosphere here. We've got that to the lower subdivision. And we want to create a particle system in that volume cube. And you want to change that to emission, as it is normally. Change the source of the particles to volume. Yeah, you want to change the object to the icosphere that we created earlier. That's going to be our little piece of dust and just shrink that down to exactly how you want it so the scale's way too big for that. Uh, yeah, you want to give the icosphere a translucent shader that sort of makes it look a bit like dust. And you're going to want to make sure that you enable the depth of field on the camera so that instead of just floating little icospheres you get little bouquet balls of goodness. Oh yeah, my audio is quality is really bad, sorry about that. And you're good to render out, just change your settings to exactly how you want them so that you get a good animation and you're done. Thanks for watching, subscribe, or something, I don't know, do we want?